Hi folks, Jesse Ivey back with you today. Uh, I've got my Raiders shirt on here, so uh, even though my team's out of the playoffs, um, I have been watching the playoffs, but we're here to talk today about ChatGPT. Uh, if you're interested in artificial intelligence, which that's what the software is, um, that's the point of this tutorial, is that I'm gonna teach you how to use ChatGPT for your real estate investing needs. Uh, this software is ideal. It's artificial intelligence. It is going to help you with your real estate investing. And this, this software would be ideal for somebody who is a novice in real estate, uh, doesn't know anything about buying land or buying houses or buying commercial real estate or a duplex or anything like that. This software can help plan out things for you and keep you organized and also teach you things that you may not even know. And for somebody that is a more seasoned vet, you can ask questions to this software. It's AI, it will answer questions for you. It will give you step-by-step -step guidance on things you need to do and it's all for free. And that's what's so awesome about this artificial intelligence software. So if you're interested in AI stuff, you're interested in learning more about real estate investing, but maybe you're a little bit scared to find out or, or you don't really understand it, this software can help you. you. You basically could download the software tonight and be asking it questions yourself tonight. So I'm gonna teach you start to finish how to use chat GPT for your real estate investing. I'll be doing that right after this. Okay, folks, uh, welcome back. Uh, so if, in case you have forgotten, uh, this is a video that I'm going to teach you how to use uh, the AI uh, software ChatGPT. And so here we go. I'm going to put ChatGPT in the search engine Google. Uh, it pulls up their website, which is openai.com. So you click on that. And here uh, is ChatGPT, um, and it, there's a button down here. It'll say "Try ChatGPT," and all you would do would be to click that. Um, and so, what it will basically ask you are some of these questions. You know, go to ChatGPT, create an account by using your email address and password, verify your email and your mobile phone number, and once that done, you just tap for personal use. And then choose the feature you want for conversation. Tap questions and answers, and uh, and then select open playground. And then you just type your questions in there. So uh, for I'm already in I, because I've already have an account with ChatGPT right here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, you know ask it a new question. And so uh, my question, uh, you can pick up anything, but the purpose of this tutorial is uh, we're going to pretend like this is uh, somebody that maybe has questions about real estate, and that's what we're going to be focusing on. So um, let's say I'm a first-time home buyer, and I'm wanting to know uh, how do I go about, what's the best way to, uh, you know, um, uh, buy a house? Uh, what would be the steps involved? So I would type in down below here, steps involved for a first time home buyer to buy a house okay and then I click return and I wait for them to answer and see what is coming up here that's what they're answering look how fast that is that's artificial intelligence working so as you can see it says determine your budget get pre-approved for a mortgage research neighborhoods and find a real estate agent look at properties and find one that meets your needs number four make an offer and negotiate the terms of the sale number five get a home inspection um, number six close on the sale and move into your new home and it's really that simple uh, so let's say how how do I save up money to buy my new house? 
So let's say you had that question. And here's, uh, you know, here's ChatGPT working again. Create a budget. Uh, start saving gold. Determine how much money you need to save for your down payment. Cut as unnecessary expenses. Increase your income. Look for ways to increase your income by getting a higher paying job or start a side business. Automate your savings. Uh, number six, look for a down payment assistant program. Research local national programs. Number seven, be consistent. Stick with the plan. Um, and it'll just go into great detail about the steps you need to take if you were a first time home buyer thinking about buying a house. Now let's do a, a new question for a first time home buyer. Uh, let's see, what states can I buy a cheap house in? So as you can see, uh, it's saying Ohio, Indiana, Pennsylvania, uh, Iowa. And uh, as you can see, chat GPT is giving you a bunch of information right there. Um, you basically can come up with different questions that you can ask it, uh, you know, just about uh, where, uh, you know, where would be, here's another one, like, where are good paying jobs located? And here you go again. You know, maybe you're thinking about moving somewhere else, uh, and it's giving you all of this information: San Francisco, New York, Boston. Uh, you know, and then uh, cities in uh, Seattle, Colorado, Texas, Virginia also offer good, high-paying jobs. So, in case you were thinking about moving, your first-time home buyer, and you're thinking about where should I move or where can I buy a house that's cheaper or whatever. So let's uh, switch gears here now. Let's pretend like we're talking about land. Uh, what's what this uh, we're just going to talk about raw land now. What states offer cheap land to buy? So there's one for you. So there you go again. And there's look Texas. Uh, it's giving Oklahoma. Um, there's another one. Number three, Missouri. Missouri has a mix of uh, urban and rural areas. Arkansas, there's another one uh, with uh, land cheaper. Kansas, Kansas has cheap land as well, affordable. Um, and as you can see, most of the questions you ask uh, chat GPT, uh, they have an answer for. Um, so, uh, the, you know, this is something that you can really use over and over again if you're uh, an investor like somebody like me, you know, or, you, you know, maybe you don't have that much experience investing or you want to know the best ways. Like, for example, what are the best ways to invest in land? Here are a few ways to invest in land. It's going to give it to you. Direct ownership. Uh, land development. There's another one. And this is all um, land trust. This is all, you know, artificial intelligent, AI. That is what you're using here, believe it or not. And this is so easy to use, and this program is completely free. Uh, land trust, agricultural land, timber land. Um, you know, in case you were somebody that was thinking about, you know, what are areas where I can make money uh, selling land, you know, and different things like that. So here's one, you know, considering this is what we do for a living. Um, how uh, can I find an owner financed deal for the purchase of land? And here you go again, networking, number one. Number two, online marketplaces, land watch, land and farm, classified ads, social media, join a real estate group, reaching out to property owners. And, and as you can see, the list just goes on and on. I mean, you, you know, they, this app is very valuable because of that reason. Now let's say I'm a real estate investor and I'm seasoned, okay? 
um, but I and I have money, but I'm just curious about a, something. So, um, what real estate in, in real estate investments are the most profitable? And here it goes. It's going to tell us. Rental properties. Rental properties can generate a steady income. Flipping houses, buying houses at a low price, fixing them up, then reselling them. Developing land. Developing raw land into commercial or residential properties. REITs, real estate investment trusts. Commercial properties. And you see, it just goes on and on, the questions that you can ask this AI. I mean, um, it's just its just like you have an, an encyclopedia doing the work for you, and you're not having to. You're sitting here drinking a, you know, drinking a cup of coffee while it's doing all the work for you. Um, so let's go back to land again, just like vacant land. What states can I buy vacant land in the cheapest and here we go again vacant land is can vary in price depending on where you're talking Montana Wyoming Idaho these states have vast rural areas with relatively affordable land prices Missouri Missouri has a mix of urban and rural areas Arkansas Kansas um, and as you can see, Texas with large land areas, you, you know, and the list just goes on and on about the things you can ask this app. And it's so easy. And this uh, AI app is totally free to use. So you can go in there tonight, set up an account and ask it multiple questions. And you'll be surprised at some of the answers you get. It is fun to do. And it's I mean, you can learn so much uh, in just a short uh, period of time. So here's another one. Uh, let's say I'm somebody that uh, I don't have that much experience buying income properties, um, you know, meaning duplexes, triplexes. Um, steps to take for a first time investor in income properties and here we go again educate yourself learn about the basic of real estate investing develop a plan identify your investment goals I mean this thing just goes on and on look how quick this stuff's coming up research the market find a good real estate agent um, you know get financing consider different financing options uh, number six evaluate the property before making an offer close the deal once you found the right property close the deal take ownership manage the property number eight um, and and I mean you can just keep typing questions into this left and right and it saves you so much time and it, gi it gives you steps on what you need to do uh, if you're considering buying you know income property if you're buying vacant land like that's what we do you know if you're looking for places or areas in the United States to research and find that out uh, if you're just even considering buying your uh, first home uh, you know and you're looking to you know what steps you need to to prepare yourself uh, with you know for to buy your first home uh, this app can definitely help you uh, figure out some of those questions and maybe questions you hadn't even thought about so folks as you saw uh, when with me giving you uh, the demonstration with the artificial intelligence, the chat GPT. I mean, tonight you literally could go online, uh, sign up for an account, you can be using it tonight, uh, asking it questions for yourself or your family or whatever, no matter if you're thinking about investing in uh, land, if you're gonna invest, you know, your first time home buyer, or you are interested in income property, commercial properties, agricultural land, whatever, um, it definitely can answer a lot of questions for you. Um, so anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial about how to use chat GPT and AI because this is really a uh, coming up uh, technology. A lot of people are beginning to use it. I think it's going to go mainstream uh, very soon. But anyway, this uh, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on chat GPT.
PT and we will be back again very soon with another video for you to watch and this is Jesse saying goodbye from the owner terms land network